Hey guys, welcome back. First video in the aquatic plant series. This year is not going to be from my fish room. As you could see in the last video, my fish room is a complete mess right now and in the process of remodeling. So we're visiting Dennis from Pure Shrimp in Aarhus. Dennis, hello. Hello. <laughs> and thank you for having us. So today, the first spotlight of year 2021 in the aquatic plant series is going to be about very special moss. Can you tell us a little bit about what moss I'm going to be talking about today? We're going to look at the pretty exotic uh, moss and that is the Cameroon moss. It's a slow grow grower guys, so it's not for uh, taking up a lot of nitrate in your tanks. So be aware of that, you have to have a steady tank for that moss. So I have already seen that Dennis has some massive overgrowns of this particular moss in some of his aquariums, so I cannot wait to take some nice and beautiful close-ups. So you guys sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Cameroon moss is very beautiful and unique aquatic moss that's fairly rare in a hobby, but is definitely getting more and more popular. For being a moss, it has relatively large, rounded leaves, which usually have medium to dark green coloration. It is slow-growing moss that usually grows in C or S-shaped pattern and can be used for a variety of purposes. It can be positioned anywhere within your aquarium and can be grown both as a natural clump or attached to driftwood, stones or other aquarium hardscape. Cameroon moss is very popular in aquascaping because of its beautiful shape and coloration, but is also widely used in shrimp keeping hobby and can definitely also provide some hiding spaces for baby fish. However, because of its fairly high price and slow growth rate, for fish breeding I would definitely recommend some other moss species like for example Java or Christmas moss. Propagation of this moss is also very simple. Simply take apart the mother plant and divide it into small pieces. Every single small piece that you separate can grow as an individual plant and therefore depending on what you're aiming for, you can split the stem of mother plant on as many pieces as you need. However, bear in mind that bigger clumps will grow slightly quicker than if you split the moss on way too small pieces. Cameroon moss is very hardy and undemanding moss that will accept wide variety of water parameters. It will grow just fine in low-tech aquariums without additional CO2 or fertilizer, but of course in case that these things will be provided, it will have positive impact on the growth of this moss. In case that you're looking for undemanding and hardy moss, that's really beautiful looking and you don't mind paying a little bit extra, give Cameroon Moss a shot and you definitely won't regret it. Thank you very much guys for watching, I really hope that you've enjoyed watching today's video and for those of you that are new to my channel I have the entire series where I talk about easy to keep and hardy aquatic plants and I'm gonna have that one linked in the description below. As always if you've enjoyed today's video please don't forget to leave it a like and maybe consider subscribing, it's absolutely free and I really appreciate every single one of my subscribers. Anyway that was everything from me for today guys, thank you very much for watching once again and I'm gonna see you in that next video.